Uh, Dave says, this is my first time seeing the game. Would you mind giving a brief summary of what's going on? Well, right now we're on a... So we are this bearded um, gentleman. I think usually the characters you play are gender neutral. Like they don't have gender. Um, but because the... Because the uh, icon, the tile for the scholar, has seems to have a really big beard. It's hard not to uh, identify ourselves as male, so I'm just gonna say male. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why a scholar has to be male, but whatever. Um, so we are Umishwar. Uh, we're we're here. We got this quest at the Six Day Stilt, which is this like. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. I know I keep like playing with my eye. Um, I'm wearing contacts, obviously. Uh, the, uh, obviously if you, if you've seen me wear glasses before, uh, we were at the Six Day Stilt, which is like a religious pilgrimage site. And someone there told us that this was her village and she wanted us to go and resolve whatever trouble was going on here. So we are, we are a helpful sort. Um, all right. So what, what was I doing here? We're going to talk to the warden. Why, why, why is Esk here? What's going on? Do you have Kindrish? No, Eskine seems to be, claims to be wrongfully accused. Oh, but what now? <laughs> the, the warden is so just bewildered all the time. Um, we will investigate and find the truth. So we're a scholar. This is what we're all about, finding the truth. Oh, well, yes, that's, that's a good idea. You'll help, right? My axe arm and conviction are strong, but deduction has never been my greatest strength. I can answer questions about the people in town, if that would be helpful. It would. Could you answer some questions now? Great. Uh, of course, Kendrin, ask away. All right. Um, Robert says, I have a big beard and I'm not male, by the way. Uh, sure. Again, I'm... Maybe I shouldn't be uh, saying that we are uh, just because we have a beard that we are male. It's just, it's, you know, it's hard not to identify our character as male when, especially because I have a beard and I identify as male and I'm, I'm the player here. But yeah, absolutely. We could say that we are female. People with beards definitely can identify as female. Um, but it's, I apologize if anyone's offended by that. It's just hard for me not to see our big beard and not think like, you know, coming from me and my culture, like old Orthodox Jew. So um, that's that's where my head is. Uh, Baptiste says maybe the beard is a mutation. Also a very good point. We could just have a mutation. It would be cool if our beard could become like another limb and like wield a sword or an ax. Like um, like uh, in, in the new She-Ra series with, um, with uh, uh, what's her name? Who's the best one? The best princess is... Uh, uh, it, it, oh man, I'm blanking out. The purple haired one, the one, the like techie and she, her hair is like, uh, prehensile and she can, and manipulate things with it. Why am I blanking on her name? Um, okay. So we're going to talk about all these ones. What can you tell me about Heindriart Ke? Ke is very wise and very careful, which makes up for her lack of strength or tact. She always knows what's right. And she runs a very tight shift. She hates clutter from work like nothing else and cleans up any mess she makes unless it's a spill, then she makes Kessahine do it. It's because Grando has a terrible fear of standing pools of water. Interesting. Refusing to touch them. Copper and bronze afflict her with allergy sores, and she can't touch them. She's too old to spar with me, but her bow arm still aims true. This, by the way, all of these clues, all of these traits, these are all procedurally generated. They change with every time you're going to play this quest, I believe. That's all I can think of. Hmm. Uh, Robert says, or non-binary like me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Bo says, no prob, I was joking too. Entrapta, yes, thank you, Robert. Entrapta. Entrapta is, without question, the best She-Ra princess in the new series. She is she is absolutely my favorite. Um, I have another question, if you please. Any episode that doesn't have Entrapta is a, a missed opportunity. Uh, what can you tell me about Eskind? Oh, she's, well, she's a good person with strong convictions, or has always seemed so. I suppose that isn't helpful. Uh, Esk has a good eye for detail. She hates water vines so much that she avoids the patties and won't eat mats without la broth to make it taste better. Um, she's afraid of salt backs. She's good at foraging and terrible at crafting. I've missed her so much. Um, okay, so Esk 
Good eye for detail. Hates Waterfine. Uh, afraid of saltbacks. Good at foraging. Bad at crafting. You're, you'll all remember all this for me, right? Uh, Eriwax says, sounds like Ket is a vampire. Uh, Baptiste says, beware of pools of water. Or we can embrace pools of water if we want to ward away the uh, Hindriarch. Well, can you tell me about Kessahind? Kessahind is completely loyal to Grando. We used to be friends, but his disposition has become so sour since he was appointed her protector. And he's quite cold to me now. He can't see well in darkness. He's the holder of Ari. The holder of Ari. Is Ari a person or a... Oh, an unbreakable heirloom fire axe. Cool. And he's very skilled with it. Um, Ari means lion in Hebrew, by the way. So it's cool that a fire axe is named lion. Uh, he's terribly finicky about food. He'll only eat bland food and meat. And oh, once he's had a bad... Once he had a bad cough as a fondren, a caretaker tried to feed him yuck wheat, and he kicked her so hard it dislocated her jaw. Poor elder Esselhind. Okay, doesn't like, only likes bland food, uh, doesn't like yuck wheat, has this cool fire axe. All right, we have another question. What do you know about the outsiders, the Kendron? Uh, not very much. The only Kendron who were allowed in the village before you are traitors, and it's always a very big fuss when one comes by. I've seen a while, it's been a while since that happened though, so any Kendron who have visited must have come in secret. All right. That'll do. Live and drink. Live and drink. Let's talk to folks. Hindered villager. What, 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 what are, what are you? Uh, have you seen or heard anything peculiar? You know, Grando spent some late nights working on something she wouldn't talk about. I wonder what that was. Interesting. All right, we got some gossip and lore. Let's take a look at uh, things lying about. Dry law petals. Village stores. Ah, Tally marks on the bottom of the chest lid account for its contents, dried law petals, vine wafers, and water skins. Whoever stole Kindrish didn't steal from the village stores. These chests are simply packed with dried law, vine wafers, and water skins. You note this piece of information in the gossip and lore section. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's talk to more villagers. Did I already talk to you? I heard that someone in the village might have a sore throat. So I'm staying at least 10 hand span away from everyone today. You should wear a mask, Hindrin. Wear a mask. Uh, hello, tiny Hindrin. Fondrin. Is it true that Kendrin can't fall in love? Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? I heard a Hindrin talking about buying and selling to a Kendrin late at night. I thought that all Kendrin had to report to Grand Doe. Oh, so it looks like a uh, Kendrin was in village and it was not reported. Very interesting. Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? No, this one has not seen anything. Anything in here? Let's take a look at some of the things. Oh, there's graffiti on the table. Lost. Crab eggs? Buy something. Scuttling noise. Okay. Let's talk to you. Please go away. Please go away. Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? No. Fair enough. Oh, a scout, why do you remain here? Please finish your business. Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? I came across some Kendron who claim to be treasure hunters. They said that they would pay good water for unique artifacts or treasures. Oh, so that's two marks against the Kendron. We've had Kendron not reported in the village, and then they clearly seem interested in unique artifacts. Live and drink. All right, let's talk more with... Um, the accused here, the friends of the accused. All right, no, you have you have nothing else to tell us. All right, live and drink. Ask kind, do you have anything else to tell us? No. Okay. Let's talk with uh, Kessahind here. No, I don't think you have anything else to tell us either. Uh, let's take a look at um. Well, I wonder if like we can look at someone and they're clearly just like wearing the missing bracelet on them. That would be hilarious. Um, oh, so looking at Kessahind here, Carmine's streaks on Kessahind's armor suggest that he tried and failed to wipe away spilled blood. That bloodstained leather armor. Look at that. 
Always a good idea to look at everything in this quest. And every one. Take a look at these beds. Whoops. Uh, did we already talk to you? Yeah, we did. Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? Nope. Okay. How about you? Is it true that Kendra and Elders grow eyes upon their hands? Didn't see anything. We may have gotten all of the information from uh, the citizenry, although I could be... I could be wrong. Oh, Kendrin. Oh, this is Engelhind. Right, this is the detective type. Kendrin, a moment of your time, please. You are Umushwar, yes? You seek to solve a mystery here in the village? Yes? Uh, how did you know all that? I hoped you would ask. I closely study the works of the great, the great bard, Willow Shakespeare. In particular, I am most fond of the stories of the great plant detective, Hemlock Cones. Through these stories, I have learned to hone my perceptions and deductive skill to a fine point. It is my dearest hope that one day I shall become known, not as Engelhind, village bookworm, but Engelhind, master detective. My grand hind has forbidden me from looking into the strange doings in the village, but she said nothing about me teaching you the ins and outs of detective work. What do you say? Oh, well, this is our, this is our, our brother in spirit here. First of all, do you have anything to trade? No. All right, we're listening. Um, <laughs> Dave says, did he kick her in the jaw or did he kick her so hard that her jaw dislocated? Uh, Baptiste says, uh, social distancing is important even in post-apocalyptic worlds. Dave says, sus. Uh, vote what's-his-name. Um, oh, truly, you won't regret this, Kendrin, I promise. So, let's get to it. Every mystery hinges on the detection and interpretation of evidence. As Hemlock Cohn said, ere any prosecution can commence, accusers must obtain some evidence. The solving lies in seeing and locating, supporting clues as well as implicating. Okay... How do I, how do I find evidence? Professor Cohen's taught me everything about finding evidence. Though evidence you found upon the ground may yet be sound, if it will be sufficient, it's a toss-up. Examine all your suspects and their homes and all around, and find a witness who may dish the gossip. You can find evidence by looking at things on the ground, but you can also look at your suspects to see if there's anything off about them. You can also ask around to see if anyone has seen or heard anything strange, and different witnesses may have different things to report. All right, what about supporting evidence? Supporting evidence can be any sign that something is amiss that you can't directly tie to an individual. One common example is a blood stain, which we did find, which indicates that violence was committed, but doesn't tell you by whom. At its heart, supporting evidence is most powerful when paired with implicating evidence. Once you have both, you'll be in a good position to accuse a, sp a suspect of wrongdoing. All right, let me get a drink of water. This is a lot of text. Hmm. What about implicating evidence? Implicating evidence is what it sounds like. Evidence that implicates someone's involvement in a crime. For example, if someone observed strange behavior in a person, or if you, ha if you found something weird in a person's room, or even if you observed them behaving strangely yourself, that's implicating evidence. Most of the time, a piece of implicating evidence isn't proof of a crime in and of itself. But when presented alongside supporting evidence, implicating evidence is the seed of truth from which grows the long frond of justice. And we, having a frond ourselves, Appreciate that analogy. Uh, what if I find implicating evidence for multiple suspects? As Professor Cohn said, we know the reach of law, however long, is not the finest judge of right and wrong. Choose not what evidence thou wilt present, ere its consequence is evident. In short, you must use your judgment and intuition, Kindred. Uh, what if I accuse the wrong person? That's always a risk, Kindred. Neela High knows everyone in the village well. Very well. If you present, prevent, bleh, present supporting evidence that contradicts something the warden knows to be true about the suspect, well, she probably won't believe you. In fact, she might not let you accuse that person again, so be careful. If you make too many bad accusations, you might lose credibility with her entirely. Okay, I have further questions. Actually, I don't. No further questions. Uh, wow, procedurally generated investigation looks cool. Yes, this is a very cool quest. Some things are always the same, but but yeah, the the clues uh, are always different, and it's I don't think it's ever I don't I don't know this for a fact. I'm not sure if there's ever, um, like a person. I don't I don't know if they actually have programmed in like oh this person definitely did the crime. Um, I think all you get are clues, and you have to kind of determine yourself. 
Is there really a King of the Moon, Kendrin? Uh, and here's a hindrance scout. You didn't see anything. Let's eat. We are hungry. Oh, we can choose ingredients now. Oh, we're right. We can also preserve our foods. Let's preserve foods. Like our yonder cane. Actually, someone really doesn't like yonder cane, so maybe we keep that on us for the time being. We're not going to change our blaze injector. Our fresh foods, though. There we go. Great. We're preserving our fresh foods, and that really reduces our inventory weight. If we chose ingredients to cook from, uh, let's drink a little honey or cook something with some honey. Um, what do we have a lot of? Vine wafer sheaves. Great. Let's just make the ingredients that we have the most of and see what that gives us. Um, great. Wait, did I do it? How do I, how do I go? How do I say yes? Oh, cook with the two select ingredients. Good. All right. Wait, did I toss the entire canteen in? Save versus disease. And we thirst at half rate. Um, well, let me look at our containers here. No, we, okay. It was just one dram. It was just one dram of honey. Whew. I mean, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Uh, but while we're at it, let's, let's, auto collect this liquid do we still have it is it it's not doing anything it's not auto collecting stop auto collecting just collect the liquid cool all right all right we're no longer honey uh honey hungry let's look for more clues Hello there. So this is Issa Hind. Oh, a real live Kendrin here in our village. Live and drink, lovely friend. If you care to trade, I have a modest amount of local goods I can offer. Uh, Eeriwax says I must head out. Good luck and may your investigation proceed unhindered. Thank you, Eeriwax. Thank you. Um, Dave says need to establish both the Actus Reus and Mens Rea for the offense. Those are some fancy Latin terms you're throwing out there, but I, I think you're right. Philippe says preserve. And Dave said, cheer you, Eerie Wax. Uh, okay, let's trade. So, you have a lot of lot petals, and they're so cheap. We'll take all of your lot petals. And all of your vine wafer and witchwood bark, because we can now cook with them. And it's it's so cheap. And let's sell you... Oh, we have a weird... Oh, we have EMP grenades. Right, we should identify those. Um, what can I sell you? Oh, no, we do have disarmed EMP mines. I don't really want to sell. I mean, let's. It's so, do we have anything that's worth like barely anything that we want to get rid of? Oh, we could get rid of some jerky. I could just give you uh, water. Yeah, maybe I do that. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a dram. Live and drink. Uh, okay, that's all I need. Thank you. Let's take a look around here. These tables, this bedroll at you. You have a nice. Oh, you have icy vapor, a vine weave tunic, an engraved weird artifact. Right. Uh, so we have an artifact. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's clearly. Is this an armed EMP grenade? Oh, it's a disarmed stasis mine. Ah. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, here's a chest. Let's take a look at that. Okay, no clues. The sign, foodstuffs. Oh, can I harvest? Yeah, look at us harvest these uh, lot petals. Excellent. No one seems to mind. And I should look at more people. I've, I've been forgetting to look at folks. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any more clues from the villagers. I think it's just the first ones you ask have clues. Uh, let's take a look behind this wall. Hello. A leatherworking hammer. Someone has left a small hammer on the path. You note this piece of information in the gossip and lore section. 
And here we have the statue of a deer, abandoned in a tucked away hut on Bela's outskirts. This enormous statue of Hornspell languishes under a layer of withered vegetation. It depicts a majestic deer with one hoof raised from the ground, its human-like eyes judging its surroundings and finding them wanting. The metal plaque on the base of the statue hasn't fared well over the centuries, and the only glyphs you can make out are K, R, S, and H. Okay, cool. Um... Yellow Monologue says, is there a science to what ingredients do what in cooking? There is. There definitely is. But I, you I, you can look at the wiki to, to figure that out, or you just, like, get the information from experience. But, yes, different ingredients definitely do different things, and they always do the same things. Like, I don't think there's any procedural generation to what ingredients do what. Um, like, law petals will always have the same effects. I think. Unless that's changed. Uh, I'll take a look at you. Okay. Anything on this table? No. All right. Let's 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 take a look at some of the folks that we haven't looked at before. And go hind. Uh, you're a scout. Let's take a look at anything in here, too. Uh, I want to look at uh, the warden. We already looked at the chest in the storeroom. This table... Oh, right. This table has graffiti. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's take a... What is this? A gargantuan footprint. Only a great saltback could leave a print the size of a hot spring. And someone was afraid of saltbacks, right? We've discovered all the evidence. Excellent. All right. Discovered all the evidence. Let's take a look. Gossip and lore. All right. Um, Willem says, seems to be, can you con can you congeal Hulk honey to gain strength buffs? I think so. But the, but if you cook it into something and you eat it, you would only get that buff for like, the t like a day or until you got hungry again, I think. I think just a day. Um... And I don't think it's going to be as powerful as, like, injecting yourself with the Hulk honey injector. Um, but yes, I think you can. Uh, Philippe says, finally noticed, huh? You fought a stasis miner. Yeah, I did not realize. I thought they were all EMP miners. Dave says, I got to head out too, Graham. Hopefully catch you a bit later, but if not, happy gaming. Thank you, Dave. Always nice to have you. All right. So this is very interesting. The Hindriarch, Hindriarch isolated herself to work on a mystery project. Scouts have seen treasure. I want to see... Let's talk to the warden again. What... Someone said something about... Um, was it the Hindriarch? That's something to do with saltbacks? No. S-Kind? S-Kind is afraid of saltbacks. That's interesting. And there seems to be a saltback that was here. Huh. A sign of recent trade. So if there was trading going on, S kind was not involved. That's that's what that seems like to me. Um Oh right. And S kind said that she took basic stores, but the village stores were untouched. So S kind must have traded something. Interesting. But it probably wasn't with these, with the Kendrin, because they brought a salt back, if I'm understanding this correctly. A small leatherworking hammer meant there was a craft, a recent craft, and someone was good at crafting, right? Uh, right? Oops. Is it S kind? No. Um, S kind is terrible at crafting. Okay. But there was a trade. There uh Kessa Hind was has blood. There are sore throats and recent illness. The Hydriarch uh worked on a mystery project, possibly to hide Kindrish. What do we think happened here? What could have happened? Kessa Hind is let me ask about Kessahind again. 
Because Kessa Hein clearly got in a fight. Right, Kessa Hein doesn't like medicine for coughing. That could be what happened again. Maybe. Uh, Rad says a full day buff is still super amazing with certain foods, giving immunity to bad stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I really need to get into the habit of, of... Like, I haven't had enough experience with the food and cooking to fully realize its potential. But I, I do understand that it, it does have a lot of potential. Which is why we took the skills. All right, what do we what do we think? Who did it? Was it the Kendren? Was it Eskind? Was it the Hindriarch? I don't think it was Kessa Hind. I don't think there's enough evidence. There's there's barely any evidence to say that it was Kessa Hind. Um. And the only evidence that it might be the Hundriarch is that the Hundriarch seems to have been crafting. There does seem to be evidence that it was Eskind because um, the stores were untouched. And Eskind, let's talk to Eskind, because she told us that she stole from the stores. And that seems to be a lie. Where's your brother? You have no brother. My two sisters are all the blood family I can claim. Kess seems to believe otherwise. Kess believes that she gets the final say regarding who is a sister or brother. Oh, okay. So you have two sisters, but Hind but the Hydriarch refuses to recognize the gender, the 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 gender that the one sister identifies as. I think that's why, and that's why you left. Okay, okay, makes sense now. Um, who? What evidence should I be looking for? Who might... Who might have stolen Kindrish? The Hindrich is the most likely suspect, you say. You've been suspicious, suspicious of uh, Kessa Hind. Um, you doubt any of the villagers had the nerve to steal such a valuable object, but it's possible. Why did you leave Vela? I could have sworn that you said. I could have sworn that you said that you stole some measly goods when we first talked to you. And that seems to be a lie. At least if you stole them, they weren't from the stores. Right? Let me talk to you again. Could we trade? Yeah. I mean, I have sympathy for Eskine's plight. She seems um, more trustworthy, but there's a hole in her story. 